ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we have a short news update video where I don't really know how to feel, right? It's either a case of Treyarch is killing it once again, or Activision is making up stuff once again. One of the two, or maybe the truth lies somewhere in the middle, there's usually a gray area when it comes to this stuff, and we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into it. So, today a news article came out from VentureBeat that featured Johanna Ferries, Faris, dude, what's with people with names I can't pronounce anymore? She's the general manager of Call of Duty, and she's the senior vice president over at Activision. Well, in the interview, they were kind of just talking about all sorts of games industry things. Nothing really of note until they started talking about zombies. And let's just go ahead and jump right to the excerpt right here. She says, exactly. The zombies community, not to nerd out too much, we just launched a completely new open world expansive way to play zombies. Sounds great. Sounds obvious. Not easy. We're breaking into modern warfare. There's canon and universe, and usually that zombies experience is not shown in modern warfare as a sub franchise. So you have a whole segment of our audience who's like, we'll see about this. And it's a different way to play zombies. Even the gameplay architecture is different. And so those are the bets you've got to take. She added, it's something where we measure that and we can feel it. You can feel when it's hitting and credit to everyone on the development side for Modern Warfare's zombies mode is probably the best rated third mode in a decade. And I'm not making that up. And, you know, we listen and we see that. So you feel it. And sometimes you can't can't always measure it. What does that even mean? What are, are these just words that are just being spewed out there to make headlines and whatnot? Like, we have a feeling it's just, it's probably the best rated third mode in the entire decade. And I'm not making that up. We probably can't really quite measure that. I mean, looking at the sales figures right here, it kind of seems like, you know, the sales might be down and therefore people may not be enjoying zombies mode nearly as much as what they're saying. But at the same time, I've seen a lot of positivity from the COD community when it comes to modern warfare zombies. So, is Treyarch killing it? Is Activision lying? Or again, is it somewhere more there in the middle? So what I thought we would do in this video is just kind of quickly go back. We're going to talk about zombies, of course, a little bit and Modern Warfare 3 in general, but just, okay, Modern Warfare open world zombies. Is it better than Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops? Well, obviously, I think most people would agree. I mean, the Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops were just freaking terrible. If you think otherwise, I mean, that's a spicy opinion. We're all entitled to them. But, dude, like, I think most people are going to agree that Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is much better than Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops. Going back another year, Vanguard Zombies. Is it better than that? Absolutely. Vanguard Zombies was garbage until they added round-based stuff. But even then, it was just so freaking bad. Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Um... Yeah, I think Cold War Zombies is better than Modern Warfare Zombies. I mean, Modern Warfare Zombies is fun, it's unique, it's different, but dude, Cold War Zombies was pretty good. I would argue it was too easy in some respects, like it really wasn't that difficult at all until you got like the round 50, <laughs> but other than that, I really did enjoy Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Going back to Modern Warfare 2019, I mean, again, Spec Ops, I mean, Modern Warfare 3 wins here easily. Going back to Black Ops 4... Uh, I would say Black Ops 4 Zombies was better. I mean, people didn't like Voyage of Despair, if I recall that correctly. Like, I don't understand that. I thought Voyage of Despair was an awesome launch map. Then we had the other maps as well. And in general, again, I thought it was a little bit easy. I felt like Treyarch has gotten a little bit soft when it comes to the difficulty of their zombies. But I felt like Black Ops 4 Zombies was really fun. I played it a whole bunch, especially to do my contracts and things like that. I mean, Black Ops 4 wins here. I think it really does. Going back to World War II Zombies, however. I mean, yeah, Modern Warfare Zombies is better than that. I mean, World War II Zombies was just something I'd like to forget. Infinite Warfare Zombies. I can say, honestly, I have barely played it. But based on community perception and based on the feedback I've read online and the way people have been talking about it, even dating back to 2016 when Zombies in Spaceland first came out, it seems like overall the community actually did like Zombies in Spaceland. I just didn't really play it because that was the year they bundled it with Modern Warfare Remastered. And as such, I spent the entire year playing COD 4 Remastered. But I'm going to give Infinite Warfare the point on this one. And then we have, of course, Black Ops 3 Zombies, the absolute goat. Mind you, it only came out like eight years ago, so that's within her realm of the last decade. You're telling me that Modern Warfare Zombies is better than Black Ops 3 Zombies? Dude, just get the fuck out of here. Advanced Warfare Zombies? I'm just going to say I like Modern Warfare 3 more. Exo Zombies was not my thing. And then going back 10 years, by definition, one decade to 2013, here we have Extinction Mode for Call of Duty Ghosts, which again, I didn't really play it that much. My opinion is not that valid, but 
it, it just doesn't seem like many people really talked about that mode either, especially when it came out. It's just, I'm, I'm gonna give the point here to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I just, I think it's better. I mean, you guys can judge me, you know, chastise me down there in the comments or whatever, but that is how I would personally score it. It's just, it's a weird situation where they're coming out and saying like, yeah, it's probably the best rated zombies ever. We can feel it. You can't really measure it, but we just, we can feel the love and there is love, but just, when the numbers are coming out that sales are down in the United States, that sales are horribly down in the United Kingdom, and then you jump on Adventure B here and say, yeah, it's probably the best zombies experience like ever. It's like the best third mode we've ever made. It's just, it's a weird juxtaposition, you know what I mean? But when it comes to marketing, when it comes to PR, I mean, you need only, this is why I don't actually watch like normal news. Like, dude, whatever I do, it just it melts my brain listening to these people talk pretty much. I just, I don't enjoy it whatsoever. But when you listen to your mainstream media and stuff like that, when they're talking about non-video game things, you know, it, it's all full of bias. They're always pushing a narrative. It's always just, it's 99% bullshit is what it seems like. And I think we have that exact same thing happening here with the general manager of Call of Duty doing a fluff piece with Venture Beats. I think that's what it comes down to. But I'm also gonna say this, I'm gonna wrap the video up on this. I'm still loving Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I made a video saying it's actually fantastic when the game first came out. Obviously, I'm a multiplayer focused channel, so therefore I don't play as much zombies as like a zombies focused content creator or anything. But I just finished up Act 2. I'm starting into Act 3 and whatnot. Like, I enjoy zombies for what it is. It's fun and it's engaging. It's one of those things where when you play the multiplayer, mostly due to skill based matchmaking, you know, you play for an hour and that hour feels like an eternity. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, like every game is so sweaty, every game is so rough, this, that, and the other. I play zombies and I record everything I do in COD in case anything ever happens, anything cool, anything I can use in a video or whatever. I'm always recording. On average, I spend about 40, 45 minutes in a zombies match and I look over and I'm about ready to expo and I'm like, holy shit, 45 minutes went by that quickly? Or, you know, you're playing zombies, you're doing your thing, you're, you're, whether you're progressing the story or you're leveling up guns or you're going for camos or whatever it is you're doing, you start getting that countdown timer towards the end saying that the gas is going to be coming and it's time for you to basically get the hell out of Dodge. I'm always like, whoa, already i mean we're, we're already it's been 40 minutes already i mean zombies in this year's game is a time vampire but that's a good thing because it means i from my perspective anyway it means i'm engaged it means i'm actually enjoying what i'm doing i'm paying attention i'm having fun and i'm relaxing above all else as compared to the modern warfare 3 multiplayer so i'm not saying Treyarch did a bad job i think Treyarch has done a fantastic job here i just i i think activision's vice president and the general manager of call of duty i i think they're, they're overselling it a little bit, and I think it's a way for them to try to mitigate all the bad sales numbers and all the bad PR that Modern Warfare 3 has been getting and all the news that has been coming out outside of zombies for Modern Warfare 3. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have it. Just a short little news update video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.